stars i'm running late to school today i have to walk 20 minutes to get to my destination today it is september 1st happy new month happy birthday ricky i'm excited because i feel like this month is gonna be okay hopefully and hopefully it brings good things to us we just gotta keep on going keep our heads high and being positive hopefully it doesn't rain on me if not i brought my beanie i'm bringing my beanie with me and my sweater if i could find it because it is cold in class i don't have an update on my brother-in-law at the moment but once i get in contact with steve i will update you guys and i'm gonna go ahead and leave you here in this clip and i'll see you in the next one because i hi my little stars i'm back from school i know my hair looks bad versus this morning it usually takes me 20 minutes to get there like to the stop where i have to get to and it took me like like 10 or 15 minutes to get and yes i know i'm home early because steve is gonna pick me up and we're gonna go to his uh cousin's party so i'm excited for that i came home in a rush i thought it was gonna take like an hour to get home because the shuttles are always um uh, freaking full and i always have to wait like for three or four shuttles just to come home Everything is not okay. This is the reality I'm living in right now. Just to let you know, Steve and I are okay. But tell me why my brother-in-law is back with his abuser. Tell me why it's taking so long to get a lawyer. All I want is his safety. That kid needs love. He doesn't deserve that. Watching videos from yesterday? I can't even describe it yet. The videos that were taken. Well, I was not there with my family. This is hurting my family. This is hurting me. I can't even begin to explain how I feel right now. I'm at loss for words. I was in the shower. I got a text message from Steve saying to call him as soon as I can. I knew that it's not good news. Basically, my brother-in-law that was abused by his grandmother has returned from CPS care but back to his grandmother that is abusive. Good morning my little stars. Sorry my voice is a little scratchy and I'm, I feel like I'm losing my voice but I think it's just all the stress and everything I've been going through. Um, so it is September the 6th, I was supposed to have a doctor's appointment today. I do have a checkup and stuff. And um, so they canceled my appointment. And um, I just went ahead and I think I'm just going to stay home because I could barely even talk. And I don't want to be feeling sick. And since I have to walk to school, I don't want to get myself worse. Maybe I'll film another part of a different video that I've been doing. Yesterday was a three-day weekend, but I believe on Saturday, my mom and I went to talk with uh, Steve's aunt and uncle because <laughs> on Friday, they released my brother-in-law back to his abuser. And I was crying, and I, I could see why I'm like, I feel sick and I feel stressed and I'm losing my voice. Yes, I'm a little cold. Um, I don't know what's wrong with my body i don't know what's wrong with me and i i'm just so upset because my brother-in-law is back with his abuser and and i would have thought that cps would have him in their care for longer and i saw the note he had written before that uh talking about ending his life or if that's not possible like ending other people's lives because he's just tired of living there just to see my boyfriend and his family like Going through this, it makes me so sad, it makes me upset. I just couldn't stand. But anyways, I've been going through it really rough these past few days. And, and for my boyfriend to have other things that he has to do, he doesn't know what to do. And sometimes 
I just want to tell him to keep going, but I know it hurts him because it's his brother and we just want him out and for him to be safe. So right now, my boyfriend's doing something very important. Honestly, we're not in contact right now. Um, we're not fighting or anything, but it's because of that. The um, important things he has to do regarding what he had told me last month today they determine the outcome of what's gonna happen what he's gonna do so if something happens i'll probably be the last one to know and my mom too i'm just anxious i'm nervous i almost had a mental breakdown yesterday as my mom had decided to tell my grandma what was going on since she asked about steve we had to tell her and it was just upset a little bit of anxiety just going back and hearing brings me to tears on saturday that we were talking about it and we were i was watching the videos again i thought i was strong enough to hold in my tears but i could i broke down and i cried the sweetest thing ever was that steve got up from his chair and he just hugged me like really tight he's the one that is supposed to be there crying right if you want to see it like that like he's just staying calm which is good i'm trying to stay calm as much as i can I guess my heart is broken into little pieces because of the situation. Because I don't want this to happen. Because I know what it's like. Like, I'm, I've never gone through things like this. But I know people that have gone through this. And I know it's hard. I have to be strong for him. I'm trying to stay really strong because I know they both need me and his family needs me. It's just really hard. Fully get to see Steve this week. Living it out rough day by day. Just hoping nothing bad happens. We're just praying really hard to find someone to help us so we can get justice and just bring him home as well. Go ahead and see you in the next clip, Metal Stars. Metal Stars update. I know I was gonna see you in the next clip. But apparently my mom has COVID. She made my mom wear her mask because she was feeling sick and oh, I don't have COVID, but um, she's coming home right now because they sent her home from work. Since I was already going to miss school today because I didn't feel well. Thank God I didn't go to the gym because I was like, oh, well, I, I would rather just go to the gym. Like, I don't care if I feel sick, but then I was like, no, I would rather stay home and be safe and like keep everyone safe. That's my little update. <laughs> Before I go to sleep tonight, I took a test, a COVID test, and I came out negative. Hopefully tomorrow when I take the second one, I come out negative because I'm going to go see my mother-in-law and my brother-in-law after school along with Steve. Right now, as for Steve's situation, there was a date set. I'll be filming that another time. I'll be putting that video out um, probably at the end of September, early October. My life has been changing really quick in the past few months and I didn't think it was going to change this fast and all my grandma said is to be prepared, to be prepared for the better, for the worse, whatever the case will be. But she did say that things aren't going to get better and that I should be just prepared for the better because my life will be and will get better. <laughs> she just said to get prepared in general with whatever that means. And I wish I could ask her, what do you know that I don't? And honestly, a lot of people have been talking about um, me and Steve and marriage and kids and all about that. But a lot of people have been telling me when's the wedding, when is Steve gonna propose, when are you guys gonna get married? And they say that they smell a wedding soon and they hear the wedding bells ring. And um, yeah, that's what has been happening so far. To be honest, um, I've been feeling okay. Um, just to update you a little bit about like how I've been feeling physically. Um, I do have some congestion and um, I have a cough, but I'm okay, I feel okay, and, um, but yeah, like, a lot has been going through my mind and I think I'm just stressed at this point, like super, super stressed, but I'll go ahead and update you.
later. For right now, good night. <laughs>
forget and not read my syllabi when I had exams. And then this fucking thing. Oh, we're so cute though. This fucking thing didn't want to freaking turn on this morning because my charger adapter decided to be a pain in the butt and not charge on any um like outlet strips. I went to the living room to plug it in into the outlet, the regular outlet, and it charged. And I was like, really? All that? You decided not to do that, to charge. And then now, freaking do that. Like, seriously. Like, I was so pissed off. And I was like, please, God, don't let it be anything major. I gotta get homework done this whole week. I literally need my laptop. It's the only laptop I have. Sorry if it seems like I'm, like, filming on different platforms. I am. Um, I really want to cry, guys. I'm gonna pause it here for, like, a little bit before I start um, chismeando, I guess. Oh my god, okay, so I was sending the email and I was listening to Grupo Firme, um, the song Hablando Claro, and I really like that song. It defines me and what I do um, because they say, watch out, they're gonna get criticize you for what you what you're doing for what you've done, for who you are, but keep going. And that's how the song starts. So I wanted to go into this story <clears throat> and I was ugly coughing before I started the video. So hopefully that cough was enough to like last me through the explanation I was going to give of how my mom and I found out we had COVID and how my brother-in-law situation like just affected us, our health like more. So on Friday, I received a text from, from Steve while I was in the shower. I had obviously Grupo Firme like um, blasting in the shower, but then I had this gut feeling and I was like, just pick it up, Marina. It's important. Like, I had that gut feeling. I looked at it. I had already conditioned my hair and I was about to wash my face. I did that less than a minute. I freaking got out and I called him I'm like, what is going on? he's all like alex called uncle m from the school's phone he is out of cps care and he is back with my grandmother and i was like no steve this cannot be happening i just i got i got bad we ended up hanging up our hang up was the most awkwardest thing ever i felt like steve couldn't even bear to hear my voice at that moment because it had cracked and i started crying i put it on mute and i was yelling at god and i said why why this now after that we didn't know anything about him my mom literally called me minutes later and she's all like hey can you this for me um i need it because i have to go do something and i'm like yeah sure of course and then she's all like why are you crying i couldn't even speak Speak and I was like, Mom, Alex, he, my brother-in-law, and he's all like, she's all like, what? What do you mean? Like, what's wrong? Like, tell me quick, cause I gotta go. And I was like, he's not in CPS care no more, and he's back home with his grandma. And she's all like, okay, but we'll talk about it once I get this done. My mom called me back and I explained to her, and she's all like, the best bet is that he could go tell a school counselor. I'm like, Mom, it's a three-day weekend. How is he gonna go to school? He, how is he even gonna get out of the house? Like, she's gonna just trap him in there, and he can't do something to himself, like, and, um, they're gonna, the police is gonna send him back. And she's all like, huh, um, let me figure something out, let me see if I could talk to CPS workers that I know, and then she's all like, and we'll talk to Steve. So then, I told Steve, where do we meet up, and he's all like, we can't, um, so Auntie C and, um, uh, Uncle M and I can't meet up because we have to be in charge of our friend's kids, and, um, she's at work at the moment and they they have a bedtime like okay and then then we'll go over to your house literally my mom was not feeling her best she felt so sick and she she grilled me and she was upset and we sat down <laughs> She met Uncle M and Auntie C and I was just really happy for her to meet them because literally like I consider them family and me and Uncle M were like getting interrupted by Auntie C, by Steve and by my mom because they were all like having a conversation they wouldn't let us butt in. So then um, me and Uncle M like we just... <laughs> we, we were just like laughing like on the down low and talking about like cards against humanity he's like you better behave or i'll show this to your mom and i'm like oh my god okay like no please no and i was like oh but i got you on video too so and i showed him he's like yeah but i don't care but then uncle uncle am like ended up going to his room and he was a little upset because <laughs> steve and auntie c like were just butting in and they wouldn't let him talk but obviously we got the story to my mom the videos i hardly said a word that night 
And in the previous clips, the last Tuesday, I say that Steve got up and he hugged me really tight. Well, before leaving, he hugged me really tight and literally... And I'm the one who's supposed to be comforting him and everything, but he's the one comforting me. He's been stressed and everything, and I tried to give him his space. So Sunday, but she did seem like she was felt sick and um obviously i helped her watch on monday i was supposed to go over to steve's but something came up but steve was like i am going somewhere leaving at six and by the time they start grilling because he invited me to cook out i'm probably gonna be gone and i was like crap it's already three if i leave now like i'm gonna sound like a dick you know and like i was like babe i'm sorry but i'm not gonna be able to make it i he's like it's okay and i wasn't feeling sick i really felt off like i'm like i feel freaking weird i don't even i don't know if it's because i didn't see steve or it's because i didn't sleep enough so i was feeling fine and i was crying on saturday like i I just I couldn't hold it in anymore and I was crying and my mom like got upset because of what she saw in the videos and I think just that and the whole situation like brought our health down even more so than we were. The stress is worse in my health so on Tuesday that I got up and then I I was like oh crap my doctor called me. I was going to start getting ready to go to the doctors and they're like, oh no, she's not gonna come in. I need to reschedule you. But anyway, I stayed home. You could see in the in the previous clips, I couldn't even talk. And then like minutes later, I received a call from my mom, and I'm like, qué pasó? Like, why are you calling me so early? Like, literally, it was ten in the morning. And then she's all like, you at the doctor's already? And I was like, no, they canceled my appointment. What what happened? She's like, I'm going home. I'm like, what do you mean? She's like, my principal, Miss P, she did a COVID test on me because I was telling her how I felt and how I and how I sound and everything like who called the test on me and they both came back positive and i was like holy fuck i was keeping so positive like i already had it but i was in my head maybe i won't get it but i'm like just up on each other's business you know <laughs> and i took the test on tuesday when she got home and i came out negative and i was like yay i could still go see him this week wednesday comes and i don't go to something but i'm just still gonna go to work literally when i got out of the shower i felt like this whole like pressure i guess on my body and i got this big ass fever like i got a fever of 100 and i went to work like that and i was still coughing and i was already coughing at that point like, ugly coughing and like i don't feel good and i don't want to go and i was like i'm just gonna freaking go it's just a few hours so like i freaking go and my friends even my cousin through tags is all like either you do or you don't and then i tell steve i'm like steve how to go with your mom i know you went to go visit her and to go see alec he's all like he kind of said and he's like dad messaged then and said but i didn't go see her he said that he postponed it for the next day and he's all like would you like to come and i was like yes i literally i was like jumping up and down i was so happy and i called him and i told him yes and then but i didn't tell him that my mom had covid and that i might have and then i was like yes I get out at school at this hour tomorrow and he's like perfect he's like that's a perfect time because that's the time I want us to go see my mom and Alex and I'm like okay so like uh, they give some time to get home from school and I want I want him to see you and I'm like okay <laughs> and I was like so happy like and I told my mom she's like but I have COVID and you got exposed and you need to take a test tomorrow I wake up the next morning and I'm feeling sick this is not good I took the test that shit was loading so fast i felt like i was taking a pregnancy test and when i come back i saw two bright pink ass lines and i was like i was losing my mind i think i had texted steve like babe i have bad news and he texted back so fast he probably thought it was like oh my god my brother alex your wife has low footage and then i was gonna play around with him and i was gonna be like congratulations you're gonna be a dad but no i would rather not <laughs> i'm gonna go back talking about tuesday because right here i'm talking about how my teacher lawyer's associate called me and we were talking about the whole situation and he told me what to tell i messed up it's on tc not on tm we called and i told her about what the lawyer had to say to me and i gave her his number and i gave her my steve's mad because they're not even getting updates 
from Alec. No one's communicating. I'm frustrated. Oh, and what pisses me the fuck off is that my boyfriend had to talk to his mom through an iron door when his grandmother said that he couldn't step a foot in her house because they didn't want a fight to break out and for 911 to be called. That's not even true. My brother-in-law wasn't even in the house. He was in a he's in a mental facility right now. I don't know how to say this because I don't want to freaking out it yet. After Steve, I'm in charge. Well, besides Auntie C and Uncle M, besides them, I'm the next one in charge. Hi, my little stars. It is September 15th. I don't feel okay. I think I had another downfall on my health. The situation with my brother-in-law is not getting any better. I honestly am going through doors and they're being closed. I don't know if putting out these YouTube videos have made the case worse. I never thought that I was going to go through this with a significant other. But now I understand why a lot of people have been telling me to be prepared for the worst or for the better i just wanted to update you and yes i'm wearing the same clothes as yesterday so i'm tired of keeping filter and i'm just gonna keep it real because i'm like a time bomb i've asked for help but people don't want to help people don't want to like and it's okay if you don't want to get involved i don't give a shit but um, if it ever happens to you and you seek out help for me i'm sorry but i'm not going to help you and that's the type of person i am if you don't help me i won't help you and i'm not gonna stress this enough we miss you alex we do but that's how i feel i feel like i'm with someone that's manipulating me that's fucking a narcissist that's fucking toxic and saying oh yeah we could give you information and then the next thing they switch it up and they're like we can't give your information because you don't live in the household Alex lived in. And it's like, but you told me that that you're able to, like, update me. But you can't tell me which mental facility it is? Like, why is that? If I were to freaking text her, she'd be like, you're not on the case. Tell me how I'm not on the case. I reported to CPS. I have a case number for my fucking report. Tell me how it's inappropriate for you to not give me that information. I read in an article, not even an article, it's an official.org or something like that website where he's allowed to go to a relative's house whether they pass a background check or not because if any criminal record pops up and it's not even recent he is allowed to leave to their house or just just because they told him he is not allowed at his aunt's house i don't because i don't want him to go so he returns with the abuser let me change the word aggressor but yet you told me i'll let you know of any updates hey how's alex how's alexander doing any updates no no update i'm waiting for a call back from the mental facility but just to let you know i have to remind you that I, since you are not family family yes and you know what let me let me go let me go get this family since you don't live with him because i'm just a relative we cannot give you any information if we're not involved in the case for reporting and not being able to get information because we're not on the case and for their his aggressor to get information about the victim like what type of shit is that i'll make sure when i get those damn papers i'll make sure i change my motherfucking last name all we know is that he's in this mental facility but we don't even know the name of it we don't know where it's located that's why i'm so fucking done with stupid shit like that because even though i see concrete walls all like hell i'm gonna get through it I don't know how many times I've told Uncle M, you're a badass. But I remember that I failed to tell myself that I'm a badass. Because I've never been scared. For me, I've always thought that my mission is to help others. I don't want nothing materialistic. I don't want a damn stuffed animal. I don't want a damn fucking flower. I don't want a fucking anything. I just want my brother-in-law back. talk to my doctor and i have fatigue from covid so i i'm gonna be on more medication now than i was before i miss my little family i actually i miss my entire family right now i miss the kids i miss my my two godmothers i miss my godfather on my dad's side i miss the kids on that side of the family too i miss frankie i miss boots and i i miss the younger one too i literally miss my grandma i miss auntie auntie c uncle m the kids the friend pops the dogs like in last but not least i miss steve i'll see you in the next clip my little stars a fearless <laughs> crying i woke up emotional and yes i'm getting ready for work i guess i woke up like this because we miss his, his little brother <laughs> bb <Baby> kid <laughs> they're always in my <laughs> in my video
I did go to sleep like at 3 last night. I'm editing September vlog and it gets very emotional so I think that's why I'm emotional. Hi metal stars. Um, his my hair is kind of poofy fluffy or whatever but um, I wanted to come on here and update you and I cannot believe the month is going to be over in a week for less than a week. I'm excited for a new chapter and I'm feeling so much better and, and I'm so excited to, to start planning for October Ween and I'm already planning for October Ween and I like this new update on the iPhone. I love it so much because I could not have multiple pictures of me and Steve and I could just press them and like see all, all his pictures and mine. I'm so happy because I might see Steve this week and I'm so excited to see him after like a whole almost two weeks that I haven't seen him. I just can't wait. We haven't gotten any news from my brother-in-law and we're just taking it day by day. I'm so excited but have so many emotions running through me for these next two videos and for whatever events are happening right now in my life. I'll update you in the next few days. If not tomorrow, then Wednesday. If not Wednesday, then maybe Thursday. <laughs> and let's see what Thursday holds for us. Hi my little stars, happy Thursday. I am ready. I am ready to, oh my goodness, have a mess. I am ready to go. And I cannot wait to see Steve in less than, I wanna say an hour. Um, I got home from school like super quickly. Um, but we're gonna go to the Chihuahua's baseball game tonight. And I'm just wearing a UTEP shirt, some black jeans, and some black Nikes. Um, that's what I'm wearing. I put these little clips in that match the shirt, and obviously some um, glitter eyeshadow that matches the shirt too. I'm so ready to see him. Honestly, today has been a really good day. Hopefully tonight ends up being amazing. This is my first time going to a Chihuahua's game, especially with <laughs> with Steve, and I'm really excited because I've been wanting to go and see what, what it's about because I used to go to the Diablos, if you are familiar with going, or that you used to go there, I used to go there as a child almost all the time, and I'm almost done getting ready, and I am just going to wait for him to pick me up. Hi my little stars, I had to rush a little to finish getting ready because I'm staying over at Steve's house so I'm so excited. I get to spend like at least 20, almost 24 hours with him. Good morning my little stars, it is Saturday. I have a later shift today. Um because all high school students are literally working in this morning because tonight is their homecoming dance so most of them ask for the day off and the others um literally just went to work this morning and will get out early so that was not the case for me this well this weekend for me to like go in early and get out early so i'm just getting ahead on my homework and i just wanted to update you about thursday so we ended up going to the chihuahuas game and it was so much fun i had fun then i stayed over the night i had so much fun playing minecraft with him like that's literally like i like playing video games with him anyways friday uh, work was i can't begin where basically i got home almost at 12 last night and it was ridiculous people not doing their jobs or people like not working as a team and it was ridiculous yesterday it was i had a good feeling to call in last night but i was like i think i'd rather go because i've been missing work a lot because since I've been sick and I missed a lot of work and I was like I need to like make my hours that I need literally like I had a huge headache at work and I was like I should have just called in I should just stay with Steven and 
I should just stay with my family and have a good time. Next weekend, I have it off and I'm going to surprise Steve and I'm going to surprise my mom as well because we're doing something special next weekend and they're just going to be very happy. <laughs> it's just gonna be a great weekend, hopefully. So I wouldn't spoil it. I told Steve, I'm like, sorry baby. Oh, I don't care and I'm, I understand you don't care, but for me because I haven't said anything and it's gonna be obvious by the time my special video goes up but um, for me, trying to still keep it a secret, I was like, it it matters to me because the only ones that know are the closest people to us. And he's like, I understand this. These next clips look kind of weird. It's because I edit almost everything out. And I want to talk more about Thursday. It was so much fun because on TC got to play Name That Lyric. And if she got all three of them wrong, she would get dumped with like a lot of water. But she ended up getting just one wrong. So she got a little bit. And Uncle M, like literally, it was so much it was funny he just like wet her a little bit more and then people recognized who she was and, and uh, obviously uncle m and laughing and having fun like after the game and uncle m showed me one of his projects and i was like oh my god that's so cool and i love his work honestly every time i go over or every time he has a new project and he's working on something he gets better and better at it and it's it's really great and i'm proud of him too and I was just so happy to spend Thursday with Steve because it was our anniversary and we were just really happy. And I couldn't ask for a better boyfriend or a better love of my life, honestly. I really want to end this clip here. We'll see you later, my little stars. Hi, my little stars. Happy Thursday. I am home after my exam right now i just ate i'm gonna finish up some homework turn that in and just be free for the weekend today is like my friday so i am so excited to see steve today and i cannot wait to just spend this weekend with him but today um honestly my mind it's so peaceful i'm gonna leave this clip here my little stars and i'll see you in the next one <laughs>
Little Stars. If you see the background kind of weird, I am in the parking lot at Ross and charging my phone in the car. I spent almost the whole week last week with him. Since Thursday night, um, I haven't been home. Also, happy October Ween. Um, I haven't been updating on my socials, but um, hopefully tomorrow or this week or after this week, I'll be able to upload um, some October Ween content. I just got really emotional, but yeah. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it here because I'm very a little sensitive, a little emotional right now, so I'll go ahead and see you in the next video. I love you, my little stars, and um, take care.